Let's get some our pigs with feathers some love too, guys. This is one way to keep your meat chickens or any chickens um, cool in the summer is Hey, quail nuggets. How you doing? What do you guys feed your quail? For those of you who have quail, I'm feeding them chick starter feed because that's what we have. And it's no GMO at least. Preferably I like to get some organic quail food, but is that does that even exist? Organic game bird feed? I mean, I'd rather just feed them at least the no GMO stuff. So I don't know, is that, is that a thing? I'm gonna give them some new baby quail water. The, the little baby tray. There you go. All right, everyone looking good and healthy. No one's died. Supposed to be the hottest day of the year today. It's gonna be in the 92, about 92 degrees. With the humidity up in the 90s. So yeah, it's gonna be a good one. Um, but so we need to keep everyone hydrated. More water there, chickies. Still having these major flare-ups of eczema. Even though I did a three-day fast recently, um, I felt it helped. You know, I felt I'm a little bit less irritated, but still, like I can't even bend my my legs because I'm so inflamed in my arms. We're trying to figure it out, but uh, it's hard. I'm thinking it maybe it's just more time that I need. Fuzzy Muggins, what's up? What's up, Freddy? I'm forcing myself to get out here and do these chores that we need to. Still have chickens to feed. We have animals to feed. I feel like this whole year has been like this. And it's, it's been off and on like this for me. I mean, I'm beginning to think that it's nothing that I'm eating. And it's more of, maybe this is, this is the way I am. Maybe this is the way my body is. My skin is. I'm coming, pigs. What is that? I don't know. Like, there's all this weird shavings here. And then there's like this hole. Oh, there is something in there. I see antennas. It's like a bee. Carpenter bee right there. There's a hole in there. That's where he lives. I was like, what is going on here? Let's see. Think those onions are done? Uh, actually, no, they're not. I thought they were, but they still feel a little soft. They could probably be brought in the house, some of them. See, it's still kind of soft and it needs to feel like completely, completely dry. This, it looks good. Yeah, I haven't fed the meat birds yet. So. Okay, I can go do that. I am blessed, guys, to have an awesome wife <laughs> who, who helps me a lot and is just wonderful. Come on. Move out of the way. You got that, yeah. What? What? Hey, Biggs. I'm coming. How'd you guys do last night? Huh? I had them out. I didn't put them up last night. I just let them go. <laughs> and I shined the light out here about... Oh! That'll get you. That'll get you. I shined the light out here last night about 11 or 12 or something. And... Um, they were still going at it, man. They were still digging and rooting. They were eating still. They were still staying up late. Hold on.
Y'all need to be more patient. Still have food from yesterday. So I'll just give them a little bit of feed there. Not the whole bucket. First pepper. Yeah, it's a little small, but sometimes you have to get the small one, get, get them at this stage. Sometimes I like to um, take out my binoculars and look at my pigs through the window. <laughs> Anyone else do that? See how my pigs are doing? Ah, they're doing good. Is this dinner or lunch? This is for dinner. What do we got going on here? These are some pork ribs and just putting in the dry rub. So this one is 17 cubic, 17.7 .7 cubic feet. So 849, but let's see what the- We're shopping is. for another freezer. <laughs> we're, we're butchering another 40 chickens in a couple weeks. And we need another freezer, freezer space. Yeah, we're thinking about an upright freezer. Yeah, so Lowe's is having a sale this weekend that we're gonna maybe buy one. It only gives us like this much. Plus, if you open the door, that's gonna give us less. Yeah. I mean, not that the door is gonna be always open. I mean, we could put it here, but this is like the house full of freezers. father-in-law too. Super thankful for him and the Rain's parents for coming out here or moving out here because they've been helping us a lot this year. All right it's hot and I think it's time to water the pigs down. Hey pigs! Hey pigs! Hey pigs! Hey pigs! There we go. I got you. I got you. Nothing brings me more joy <laughs> than hosing down a couple pigs. Yeah. While I'm at it, I need to fill up their water. Also, let's get some our pigs with feathers some love too, guys. This is one way to keep your meat chickens or any chickens. Um, cool in the summer is kind of wet them down you know don't don't spray them directly um, just kind of wet the roof here it, I think it definitely drops the temperature down a little bit their mouths are, get open when they're really hot and they like, spread out their wings so if you just kind of give them a good mist Food. We're making some lamb today for myself. Plus, we have abundance of zucchini, and then we're cooking some. Are these some pork ribs? Yes, pork and ribs. It's a pot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> They're gonna go in the oven to boil. Pork ribs are done. They look good. Yeah, they're really tender. They're like so tender. We got my lamb steak. Cutting into the bone here. Mm. Yeah, homegrown zucchini and just some pinto beans, because we were all craving pinto beans. We were like, that sounds good. Me neither. Let's pinto try his rib. Beans. Oh yeah. Is that good? Fall oh. off the bone. It really is. Instant pot. Yeah, I Instant know. Pot. Wow. And it cooked really fast too, because I was like, oh no, I'm gonna have to cook it for like low and slow for hours, but it was just really fast. All right, we're just closing up shop here and but never went to bed. Penelope's collecting eggs. Pig scraps. We got pig scraps. Look at our elderberries. They're like almost ready. 
Look at this, guys. We planted this tree when we first moved here. So this is a five-year-old elderberry tree. What's nice about the summers here in the mountains is that in the morning it's cool-ish, and in the evening it gets cool. It's the, it's the time between that it gets kind of humid, but right now it actually feels really good. Look at all my flowers. Aren't they so pretty? These are zinnias. I'm not complaining, but I'm just sharing my thoughts, sharing how how it is and how we're living our life. Hey, piggies. Let me get in there, pigs. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Let me get in there. There we go. There we go. Is that frozen food? Yep, frozen food. Eggs All right, tail. you're gonna love this, piggies. Hey, pig. Yeah. This is just one of them years that, that's been probably the hardest year since we've been here. Um, for me, anyways, health-wise. But luckily, I have a good wife, a good daughter, a good family. So they've been laying out here during the day. They probably like the cool, the cool dirt. I'm just kind of looking at their place here. Since I lit them out, they're not really pooping back here, but I think I still need to take some of this out because there's going to be a time where I'm going to I'm going to put them back in there. This watermelon down here, mm -hmm. it's doing so well. This is our first time like doing well with watermelons. I mean, I just hope it's red and sweet because we've we've grown watermelons. They've just never been red and sweet, or they don't grow. Let's see this watermelon? Whoa. There's a bunch of little ones in here too. <laughs> All right, second feeding of the day. I think the key is, is just to find a way, man. Find a way to keep going. You know, 